When you want the incredible experience of an open-air roadster combined with the DIY fun of a kit car, there are really only a few options out there in the $15,000 range. One of those choices is offered by Bauer LTD with their Catfish Miata Roadster. It offers a ton of potential to become your next great track build or stylish daily driver. So in today's video, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the model as well as the captivating company behind it. The Catfish is built by a California-based kit car company founded by a man named Cord Bauer. He began work on the prototype car as early as 2012 with help from composites expert Dave Green and frame engineer Ron Hemphill. That team, alongside a few other key figures, created a truly unique Miata-based track weapon with an unbelievably lightweight and agile form. It was officially unveiled to the world at SEMA 2012, sporting a clean white exterior and red Anke wheels. At that event, it caught the eyes of so many autocross enthusiasts, and since then, a couple dozen catfishes have been sold and assembled. The basic kit comes with a custom pre-welded tubular chassis designed to be compatible with the subframe from a 1990 to 2005 Mazda Miata. This particular generation of Miatas is assembled with a unibody design, which essentially means that a large portion of the car's body and chassis are one massive component. And once this is removed, you're left with kind of a roller skate car that's just the wheels and the powertrain. And this is the piece that the new Bauer chassis is installed on top of, without any extra welding or bending required. After the base of the car has been put together with the roller skate and the Bauer chassis, the new fiberglass body and aluminum interior panels can be built on top to complete the car. Now, in addition to the basic fiberglass kit and the chassis, there's also a few extra accessories that can be added in for an extra cost. These include things like the $250 passenger roll hoop, the $100 aluminum front splitter, and the $800 DOT spec full windscreen. And this range of options really means that you can customize the car and tailor it to your specific driving needs and experience preferences. If you want that open air with the wind in your face roadster experience, you don't have to put a windshield on it. But if you want that little extra protection from the road and from the harsh elements, that is an option offered. So it's great to see Bauer LTD providing their customers with this fantastic lineup of options. The final car is said to weigh a little over 1,500 pounds, which is a massive improvement over the base Miata and is sure to boost the on-track speeds by a lot. But if that record-settingly low weight wasn't already impressive enough, Bauer says everything that can be done to a base Miata can also be installed on the Catfish, meaning there's massive performance potential, including everything from a turbo kit to a full-on flying Miata LS swap. Can you imagine putting in an LS7 or some crazy 7 or 800 horsepower motor into this tiny 1500 pound frame? That's gotta be one of the most crazy driving experiences offered on any car, especially for one that costs less than $20,000. That's right, $20,000. That's less than a brand new Camry. We're gonna get into the pricing details in just a bit. But first, let's take a look at the design of the Catfish. And in case you haven't already guessed, it was named after its unique extra design almost similar to a fish. It features a totally rad look with a ground feeder-esque front opening, wide headlight lenses, and swooping body curves all around. It definitely has a playful personality to it, but it's still refined enough to get cred at the local track meet with its side exit exhaust and aggressive rear diffuser. But like I said, the most exciting part about this car is its incredibly low cost of entry. It's almost shockingly low because the kit is sold for just $13,900, which should give it a greater smiles per dollar value than almost any other car on the market. Once you add in the cost of the donor Miata and any performance upgrades, you could realistically get yourself into a fully built track toy for less than 30 grand. Now the car was originally designed mostly for track use, you know, the occasional autocross event, but it can be legalized for street use. But as with any custom car or any kit car, you build essentially from the ground up on your own, expect to go through a long uh, registration process. Be, it's gonna be more difficult to get insurance and things like that, but it can be done. As an alternative, you could also skip this process by picking up the rare used offering. They go online for about $15,000. And that's a pretty incredible price for such an eye-catching one-off performance machine. 
Bauer LTD is a particularly interesting company to me because they have a very unique approach to selling their cars. They actually claim to have convinced many people not to purchase their cars because of how complicated the project can become. They only want to sell a few kits every year in order to keep their production quality at its peak and to make sure that ownership remains exclusive and special for the few people who do get their hands on one. The Miata is already a great autocross or daily driver car to start off with, but what I think this kit really brings to market is a fantastic and affordable way to upgrade the Miata. Say you've owned it for a few track seasons and you're looking for something new, rather than going out and buying a whole other car, you can get a new experience by buying this affordable kit and putting it onto your Miata. You're gonna get, at the end of the day, a new and exciting look. Everyone's gonna wanna come and ask questions about what the heck that is. And you're also gonna get improved performance with the massive weight reduction. But since the catfish has been around for over eight years now, it's starting to get just a little bit long in the tooth as design preferences change and standard performance numbers improve. So Bauer began working on a replacement to the model in late 2017. It's internally referred to as the CFR and it features updated styling that is far more modern and aggressive than the original build was with a focus on improving downforce and reducing drag for better aerodynamic efficiency and lower lap times. While exact details haven't been announced yet, Bauer reported that work began on the first CFR model and that it would likely be renamed to the Apex once the production model was ready. The first Apex model was expected to be built by the V8 Roadsters Garage in Daytona Beach, Florida, where they plan to install a V6 LGX motor and an eight-speed paddle shifted transmission. Sadly, as fantastic as that car sounds, it definitely sounds like a very engaging and fun driving experience, it unfortunately never got finished, as Bauer temporarily halted production of the Catfish in late 2019, after only about 20 cars were sold. Now this was done because the head founder and CEO of the company, Cord Bauer himself, shifted his focus to a different company he owns, and to his lineup of Bison off-road aftermarket parts. It's reported that preliminary CFR Apex bodywork was completed, and the company says it will most likely outsource manufacturing to bring the car back someday, although nothing is totally confirmed yet. 2020 has been an odd year of limbo for many people and many companies, and that includes the Bauer Catfish kit. If you want to hear the news when the Apex is brought back to market and stay up to date on everything related to Bauer LTD and the entire kit car and affordable exotic market, definitely subscribe to my channel down below because I'm going to be bringing all of that to you as it comes out. You can also check out my playlist to learn about some of the other competitors in this space if you're interested in that sort of thing. But most importantly, after all that, I'd just like to thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you're still here, you're one of my most dedicated viewers, and for that, I'm extremely grateful. So thank you, you're awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.